Orphan drug information. An orphan drug is a medicinal product used to treat a rare disease defined as a disease affecting less than 1 in 2,000 people in other terms with a prevalence lower than 1 in 2,000. For a company, the first step in the development of an orphan drug is to obtain the designation as an orphan medical product by meeting a set of criteria including a prevalence lower than 1 in 2000. In Europe, the European Medicines Agency created a specific institution, the Committee for Orphan Medicinal Products, for the designation granting, which allows a company to benefit from incentives to develop an orphan drug. The next step is the marketing authorization delivered by the European Medicines Agency. The procedure, compulsory for orphan medical products, is called central authorization procedure, which means that a single marketing authorization is valid in all European Union countries. Similar procedures exist in the United States, Australia, Japan, and other countries. A list of orphan drugs can be found on two main sources, European Medicines Agency and Orphanet. European Medicines Agency, because orphan drugs in Europe are under its responsibility. On its website, click the menu Find Medicine, you can show a designation by first letter of the agency, which means the menu, or Currently, there are more than 800 designations in Europe. For each one, the website displays information on the related disease, the designation date, and the when the marketing authorization has been granted. A list of orphan drugs can also be found in a detailed document prepared by Orphanet. Eurofarm and Orphanet are the two main orphan drug databases. Eurofarm is the database from the European Medicines Agency on all medicinal products that have been authorized in the European Union from 1995, date of the inception of the centralized procedure for each drug. Eudrafarm proposes a lot of information, including a very detailed document called Summary of Product Characteristics, available in almost all the languages. This document describes the characteristics of a product as agreed during the assessment process, and information on how to use the product safely and effectively, designed especially for health professionals, but available to everyone. Even if Udra Farm website proposes an access through all the European languages only, English and a few other languages like Portuguese, are available to search for database. In English, we are going to search information on an orphan drug on called myozyme on glycogen storage disease type 2. Search for myozyme. Click search. Udrafarm displays its two presentations. Clicking on the first one displays information on the drug, including summary of product characteristics in all the European languages, for example, in German. As you can see, it is a very detailed document.
Orphanet includes the substances which have been granted an orphan designation in Europe and drugs with a marketing authorization in Europe, in the United States, Japan, Australia and some other countries. From the orphan drugs menu, you can search an orphan drug by commercial name, by name of the active substance, or by disease name, like in this example, Fabry disease. Check the box or the status. Select Europe in the drop down menu. Click OK. Confirm the disease name. Orphanet displays three substances and two trade names, including Fabrazyme. Clicking Fabrazyme displays its full record with all its marketing authorizations. For example, in Europe, a document called EPAR, which stands for European Public Assessment Report, is associated to each orphan drug, a document published by the European Medicines Agency, Clinical Trial Databases. A clinical trial is a study conducted mainly to test the effects of a new drug or an existing drug for another indication or a medical device. The aim of a clinical trial is to make sure that the tested treatment is safe and that it shows therapeutic efficacy. Many information sources which help identifying clinical trials exist, either national or international. Among them, the reference database is clinicaltrials.gov. Clinicaltrials.gov is a service from the National Institute of Health in the United States with information on more than 100,000 clinical trials, not only in the United States, but in more than 170 other countries all over the world. You can search the website through different ways, by condition, by drug, by sponsor, by location. An example with a search by condition. You can browse the different categories or search by first letter. For example, clinical trials on systemic scleroderma. Clinicaltrials.gov displays 144 clinical trials study, studies, hiding studies that are not seeking new volunteers displays 55 clinical trials for each one. The website presents information on the title of the trial, the sponsor, the purpose of the trial, the conditions to participate, and information on the locations and the investigators. When you return to search results. You can visualize them on a map by country. For example, you find nine clinical trials on systemic scleroderma in France. This search using a map may be very useful to identify all the trials in a specific country. From the home page, Click on List Studies by Location, select a country, for example, Portugal. You find more than 700 trials in Portugal, more than 180 studies still recruiting volunteers. So, a lot of features, a very simple way to search, 
the number of collected data are some reasons which explain why clinicaltrials.gov is the reference database with 60,000 users every day.